my lovely year seven. Uh, my name is Taiwo, so I'm going to be your master chair. So today we're going to look at the topic. Let's be call it um, the one we started last lesson. So last lesson we dealt with um, on that division. We, uh, that was lots of, lots of indices. So today we're going to look at, we're going to pick them one by one. I said lots of indices. But today we're going to look at product law of indices. Now today we're going to talk about the motivation aspect of the indices. Now, how do we go with this? I'm going to start with question one. Evaluate each of the, uh, the following. Now this is the first question. This is the second one and this is the third one. Now the first one is going to be, we have x to the power of 4, then we have x. Now this is what we're going to do. When we look at the base of this, the first one we have, this is the base, base, like I explained in the last class, and this is the power times. Here we have the base, a, we have invisible power. Now anytime we have the power to be invisible, we are zoomed from the division law that we dealt with last week. Now what we're going to do here is this, we're going to examine the common base. The base, both the base are equal as you can see, so pick one out, that's from law of indices. This is the second law. Now the power, here we have power 3. We have invisible 1. Since the base here, we have an equation between the base, the power is going to be addition. This is the visible 1. So my answer is going to be a plus the power of 4. That's the first one. Now for the second one, we have into bracket 3, 3 uh, a is the power 3. Then we have the power outside to be squared. So what we need to do here is to write down the solution. We are still under product law of indices. Now to deal with this, this is the base a raised to the power of 3 into bracket. We have power of 2. So what we need to do here is to shorten it. We can bring out the base. Now this is 3 times the power. What we have is power 2. So times 2. So my answer is going to be a raised to the power of 6. Fine. Or mentor 2. This is going to be mentor 2, two sorry, mentor 2. This is going to be mentor 2. So how do we deal with mentor 2? Base A raised to the power of 3 into brackets raised to the power of 2. Now I can write in this form, this A raised to the power of 3, that's going to be A times A times A times A raised to the power of 2. Now for me to collate this, what is common here? A is common here. Now this is 2. This two is going to start for this, going to start for this, going to start for this. So this is going to be a raised to the power of 2. This other a raised to the power of 2. This another a raised to the power of 2. Now, what is common here? The base are common. Bring one law. Now, from here now, when they have motivation in between them, this 2 plus 2, this raised to plus 2, then plus the other 2. So my answer is going to be a raised to the power of 6. You can use any of the two method. Either I use the first method. This one is called... The, the expansion method. Why you can use it in this is product law method, which is this by multiplying the power and the power. That's all. So now we have dealt with this, the first one and the second one. Now for the third one, we have the third one. This is the third one here. We have the third one. The third one we have into bracket two raised to the power of four. Then we have three. We can solve it this way as well from the law of indices by shorting it by writing solution. You can start with the solution here. Now this is two raised to the power of four times plus the power outside. We have three. So my answer is going to be two raised to the power of twelve. I can solve it that way. Or you can also solve it the other way around by into bracket two four raised to the power of three. Now that means two in four places. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 that's raised to the power of 4 then the outside one this is the inner mode part this is the outer mode part so the inner mode part is going to be in 4 places based on the power now the outer mode part is 3 so to solve deal with the outer mode part you're going to write this is 2 raised to the power of 3 in 4 places 2 raised to the power of 3 2 raised to the power of 3 2 raised to the power of 3 so what's common here? 2 so let's add them together 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 3 is 12. So my answer is going to be 2 raised to the power of 12. So you can use the expansion method or use it in this case method. Now I think I'm done with this with you. So I'm going to give you a take home based on this. Now to have the take home, 
I'm going to do it this way. We're going to solve number 4 at home. Number 4 equivalent to the one I've dealt with number 1. Same thing is applicable here. Visible 1, the assumption is 1. That's product law of indices. Now, since I'm, I'm done with this, I'm going to give you a take home here. That, oh, that's very good. So, we're going to um, look at this. This is called zero power law of indices. Now, um, when we talk of the zero power of indices, the question could be um, simplify. Simplify could be um, a kind of simplify. So you can get your job to writing stuff. Simplify. Yes, yeah, simplify. Simplify. Write it down. Simplify the following. Yeah, we're going to be simplify the following. Yeah, this could be a question. We have um, could be x raised to the power of 0. Then the second one could be, um, let's say we have r raised to the power of 0 times, we have r times r. Yes, yes. Um, the third one could be any number, could be 64 raised to the power of 0. Now there's a saying, quote me right, yes. Get your pen and write. The law says that this is called zero power law of indices, law 4. Says that n raised to the power of 0, anything raised to the power of 0, the answer is going to be what? 1. For instance, I have a test loop. A test loop raised to the power of 0, raised to the power of 0. The answer is what? 1. Now, human raised to the power of 0. That's from the law of mathematics. says that anything human raised to the power of 0, the answer is going to be what? 1. It's going to be, let's, let's we have uh, Mr. Michael raised to the power of 0. The answer is going to be what? 1. Anything. Now, let's deal with this. Number 1, number 1, number 1, number 1, we have x raised to the power 0. Remember I said it, n to the power 0. Anything x to the power 0, the answer is what? 1. So my answer is what? 1. This x to the power 0. Then the second one, let me make it very fast. r raised to the power 0 times r, then we have r. Here, we said it n to the power 0. So this r is to the power 0 is going to be what? 1 times r times r. So now what is, now here we have 1 times r, we're going to give us r times r. So, R times R, law of indices, invisible one, what is common here? We have R. So, if, when there is no power, I assume the power is, it has what? 1, 1, invisible one. So, that's going to be 1 plus 1. So, it's going to be R raised to the power of 2. Are you with me? This is what I did. N to the power 0, 1. Then, these are R. So, invisible one, from law of indices, it's going to be 1. 1 plus 1 is going to give you R raised to the power of 2. Now, the, the last one, the last one here, we have, we have, we have the third year, we have this. Um, now, year seven, so we're going to look at zero power loss of what indices. It's called zero power loss of indices. Now, I've dealt with number one, number two. Um, the third one, remember I said anything, anything in number, anything to power zero. I've said it. What then so? The answer is what? Little bit what? Say it at all. One, anything to power zero. So I'm good to go, I'm good to go with this. I'm done with this, so I'm going to give you a take home from this. Now, as take home. Since we've dealt with division law and also dealt with our product law and zero power law of indices, so I'm going to give you a take home. So we're going to try this number one, number two, two three, four, and this. So I hope to next class we're going to start from where we stop now. So because we need to quote up to seven laws of indices. So thank you. Bye bye.